mixture of uh, aluminum and uh, iron oxide if you can hear? Well, um, aluminum is a very uh, strong combination agent, so what it does is it rips the oxygen from the iron oxide. that the bottom of the flower pot is intact. You'll see why I'm showing you that. <laughs> so we're gonna pour the mixture into the flower pot. It's stacked two layers, so it's actually pretty thick. Okay. Make sure we got everything. Ready? All right. So this mixture is called thermite. And as we mentioned, it's an uh, extremely exothermic reaction, and it happens really quickly. So a lot of energy is going to be uh, needed really quickly, which is why I'm doing all the talking before you write it. Once it's on fire, I can't really say anything after that. <clears throat> um, we're using a magnesium strip to, as like a, what do you call it? Fuse. Uh, uh, as a fuse, thank you. Because um, <clears throat> we want to be able to get out of the way, otherwise it'll come out. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, the reaction actually causes a, a redox a reaction where iron, molten iron is produced at 3,000 degrees Celsius. If you guys aren't familiar with Celsius, uh, it's really hot. Okay. <laughs> we'll be collecting the molten iron in the sand bucket here, got sand in it, and you'll be able to see the uh, molten iron cooling afterwards. So with the and this mixture, once it's mixed, you know aluminum is common, so is iron oxide, it's just rust, right? But once it's been uh, mixed, you can't carry it across our uh, skateboard, it's, it's illegal. So, yeah, we're kind of doing great stuff here. This catch got fire. Step one, lighting the torch. You can come up closer if you want now to look in. If you are relatively nearby, you can actually feel the heat emitting. If you want to feel the heat, you want to feel it with the back of the hand. It's really hot. Don't get too close to it. <laughs> and that's the molten iron. That's thermite. 